What's up, everybody? All right, we got a quick go. Uh, Monk, Professor Gable, MC Pause, McStravick in the building, holding it down for the fully baked tour. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. All right. We about to get it started in a minute. You'll know it's on on air once we get quiet in here. Man, we have a treat for the listeners that's tuned in right now. So, big shout out to you, whoever you are, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. But we got Equipto in the building. And he brought along a couple of guests with him. What's up? All right, so interesting. Yes, sir. Introduce themselves. Yeah, go ahead. Introduce yourselves, fellas. Good morning, St. Jose. This is Professor Gable. What up, though? This is your boy Monk HTS. Peace, 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 McStravin. I'll be quick, though. MC Paws tapping in. Yeah, and uh, we, we got a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, I know we have some stuff coming up. We're working right now. But, uh, Let's let's talk. Yeah. Uh, let's do it, man. Do it. Yeah. So with the introductions, um, these guys came all the way over here from the city of San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, that's where we're from, man. We're from San Francisco. We're on tour right now. Yeah. We got for you. We can keep it light, right? Quick. How was the drive over here? I was the gorgeous. Really. Uh, you know what? I was in the. Um, they, they got the express lane. They got the express lane now. So I was just. Mm-hmm. I kind of. I kind of <laughs> got here down here swiftly. I came from the East Bay though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Town. Uh, no, further up, like more Richmond. Hey, shout out to the rich. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's jump into this interview, man. Uh, so, how long have you guys been working together? Um, Equipto, you being like the. I would say sensei, uh, the, you know, the, the fearless leader, and the, the guy who kind of put oh, it together. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, I mean, I've known these cats, like Monk I've known since he was a little teenager. Um, I've known Nukstravi, Gable, and Paws. I was young 20s or early teens too on my left time. Like, yeah, yeah so yeah. it's a difference in like generation gaps with a few of them, but yeah. I've, I've, be- I've been dealing with them for at least what over the seven, eight years now. These young cats, like in particular, just kind of like going to their events as an OG, open mics and stuff, and like seeing how the younger San Francisco generation was getting down, kind of like, you know, and I was just like, wow, this is beautiful. It's like kind of. You know, it was undetected in a sense. It wasn't something that was like, oh, San Francisco's doing this. You kind of had to dig for it. And it was like a genuine movement that they were doing. Um, like, oh, so collective. That's the group that they came from. You know what I mean? Like, so they, uh, they, they were just making noise. And I just happened to witness it. And me being OG, they're like, oh, put though, that's what's up. That's dope. You know, and we just started building. And the side of the side the side of being their mentor or whatever and rapping or whatever, we became friends, you know, mm-hmm. like and just having, you know, the same type of humor and having the same likes in movies and just, you know, little mm-hmm. things. Just, so that's kinda like how our friendship and then we just build and it's just like a legacy of like San Francisco music, you know what I mean? Like we're trying to like uphold like and like I said, Monk I've known for since he was a young cat rapping on the streets doing his thing and you know, we have we have multi ties. You know, like a lot of you know a lot of the same people. They grew up kind of in the same areas. Man, um, I feel that because all right. So I put a couple of posters up in San Francisco, mm-hmm. and, and some of these people like were familiar with you. It was like crypto, bam, and then they started talking about like personal situations. <laughs> 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 they do that. They tend to do that. So There's so a lot they, of personal situations. <laughs> <laughs> Like man, I did like I, I knew I wanted to go to the record store and plaster it on the on the promo part, but I didn't know that I was gonna hear some story. Congratulations on new family members. Thank like you, you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's dope. And then also some of the people that I've been around recently also have maybe collaborated with you and or like have loose affiliations 
Yeah. Or strong affiliate. Yeah. Like, like uh, the local brother, Ray Rez. Yeah. For example, you brought up, like, that's like a, a dear brother. I love Ray Rez. He's, you know, San Jose, homegrown, you know what I mean? Dope artist. And, like, has a lot of connections, you know, and does, and does you know, genuine good business. So that's someone that uh, I, I definitely give a shout out to him. Jubo. 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 Um, this is the hat I got on right now that we're doing a collaboration, a, a, a gear collaboration with Whipped on Jubo. And it's going to be really dope. There's some dope stuff I've been dropping about, I would say, a couple weeks. And we're just trying to get the, the presentation right, you know what I'm saying, for the, for the, uh, uh, the dope Ju product. Jubo will get you right, man. Jubo will yeah. get you right. <laughs> he does some dope stuff. He does some you know, Russell. He's done all types of stuff. So I was like honored that they even like was down to, you know, collaborate with me and, and do some dope stuff. And I think they felt the same way. They were like, man, we're on it, bro. So it's just a dope collaboration. Yeah, man, that man collaborate. And they be tight, too. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk about Solidarity Records. Um, mm -hmm. So how'd you guys get together? And then also, I noticed the uh, sweatshirt. Man, Solidarity, that word, mm -hmm. like, evokes any folks. Right, it definitely does, yeah. It does. So, uh, I would like to ask that question and um, kind of step off the way, let y'all talk uh, more. Yeah, we, um, like he said, we all kind of came together, some of us in high school, um, on the music tip, formed a, uh, a group called Old Soul Collective, met people like E, and then through E, met people like Monk, you know, and uh, just began creating I'd say that was like eight years ago or something like that. So it's been a while now. Yeah. We've had a few different groups and uh, we kind of just as a naturally are found ourselves at this point at Fully Baked, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's our, it's kind of the, the new platform we stand on when it comes to our collaboration with each other, mm -hmm. I'd say. Yep. What do you guys think? Yep, definitely, definitely. True vibes. Um, so how'd you guys land on the word solidarity? I think it has a big, um, I mean, it evokes, right? Like yeah. You guys all have different styles and similar uh, like minds. Yeah. Like that's very true. Like solidarity is, the word solidarity to me, and I think basically the definition is kind of, it's joining into a struggle that you don't necessarily identify with or it might not affect you directly, but you're in solidarity with that struggle, you're in solidarity with that, you know, that culture, you're in solidarity with that outreach. And it was founded in 1999, really, like, as a platform to me put, to put out my own CD, you know, um, and growing up kind of, you know, politically, whatever, like, aware and things around me as far as my family, solidarity was a word that I always would see, and it always attracted you know, you know, mag magnetized this way to me, and I was like, okay, this is a uh, and solid. I like solid. It's just a, a whole form of like, you know, kind of bringing bridging the gap, being together. I always considered it like the people's label in a sense, and it's not necessarily a label too. It's more of a platform, and for people to come together in a space for people to kick it. So, you know, as time went on, like I said, I was blessed to run across these brothers. You know, that were keeping the culture going, pushing forward, you know, making new sounds, new styles, still incorporating the traditional styles as well, you know, it was like, so, and it's like, they're doing what they gotta do, but this whole thing that we're doing together, like you said, is a fully baked, it's solidarity, it's how we're kind of moving, you know what I mean, but, yeah, I mean, it's a lot going on, man, I mean, we can talk a, a lot about it, <laughs> but, you know. It's cool, I man, um, I got a shout out to give, like, from, some of your people. I want to give a shout out to Max uh, from the Higher Consciousness. Hey, my brother. Hey. Peace, peace. <laughs> Millie. Yeah. And also, I want to give a shout out to Adila from San uh, from San Francisco State. Mm. Uh, they were in the store in San Francisco. It's like a thrift store or something. But apparently, she used to be at the radio station at San Francisco State. And he taught her everything. Oh, that's good. You saw her everything she knew. And, um, but yeah, I wanted to give those shout outs. Shout out. Um, 
But let's see. Let's let's talk a little bit about some of your most recent projects. Exactly. The these two brothers right here just uh, one's about to drop, one just dropped, and a single just dropped. Let's get it. Yeah, let's start off with those. Uh, so we just dropped Me Short Derbs, Monk and I, a whole album produced by Monk. A whole lot of features on there. Before that, a couple months uh, before that, I dropped the Bay Lebowski. The Liam's got mixed traffic. So, yeah. yeah, so uh, I just dropped a, a single called City Lights featuring Quinto, Mike Marshall, and Da Vinci. So, um, yeah, uh, it's off my upcoming album, Safe Travels. It's, um, you know what I mean, which is probably going to be dropping this top of the year. And uh, let's pass it off to. Piece. This is me, Stravic. I got a couple of new songs out. One's uh, called Not Tonight, Jada Amani, co production by Angela Ray. And then I also got a single with the Crypto and Byron Mayhew called Butterflies. It's actually the title track of my album coming out November 1st called Butterflies. I can just, yeah, so. Oh, okay. Let's see. What's today's date? Let's see. It's 31 days in October. That's eight days away. Yes, sir. All right, man. You heard it here first, did you? Did you got think, is any of that on this flash drive? I got exclusive flash drive straight from Solidarity Records mm -hmm. right now. All those songs I just mentioned are on that flash drive. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what's up, y'all? This is MC Pause, rapping Solidarity Records, also collected Watershed, Justice Case, and my new project came out last year. Through time, it's my debut album, double album, debut double album. 24 songs on there for y'all listening pleasures definitely check that out on all streaming platforms solidarity records band camp my band camp um, and even amoeba sf hopefully get some cds and some record stores out here hell yeah um and for the people who are just listening uh how do we find you guys like if somebody just hopped in the car right now right i would go to I mean, Instagram, social media is, you can go to Solidarity Records, <coughs> 4 and 5, and then we also have our band camp. That's where a lot of our music is at the moment, the Solidarity Records, 4 and 5 band camp, which we search, and we can say you can find all type of music, all type of archives, and, you know, stuff like instrumental albums, singles, EPs. It's a lot of music for the people there. Yeah. Yes, sir. A lot of that music, too, is on all streaming platforms. We've got Professor Gable, Mung, HTS. Crypto, MC mm -hmm. Pause, Stravi. Spotify, all that, you know, definitely do the search for Monk HTS, Professor Gable. Rich Ayala. Stravi, MC Pause. Rich Ayala, who could make it with us. He's uh, sleeping, I think. Big shout out to Bro, though. He was actually one of my very first interviews. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Back when he was Say Knowledge. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I think the song in, uh, <laughs> that was that was in rotation was called He. Yes. Nice, nice. Big shout out to the brother. Yeah, shout out, Rich. Yeah. Um, I do have to press a couple buttons in here. And, it's time. Uh, push the buttons. Yep. Yeah, push the buttons, mm -hmm. and then uh, we're gonna take a musical break. Uh, we're gonna get into some of these tracks that are exclusive. Solidarity Records, straight from the source. Keep it locked. Yeah. Everybody wants to be the DJ. All right, Who shit. I'm just kind of sweating. I think that was pretty smooth. That was, that was, that was pretty smooth. But, uh, so uh, we got this. Yeah. We got this track called Ghost Rider. Let's. You want to say a couple words about it? Yeah, yeah it's a track produced called Ghost Rider, um, produced by myself and uh, Brycon, who's also a part of the Watershed, which is a group. Myself, Crypto, Gable. Uh, McStravick was a part of it as well, you know what I'm saying, and MC Paws. Um, yeah, anyhow, uh, it's, a, it's a song that we uh, created with the brother Dirty Sanchez, 47, from Brooklyn. He's, uh, you know, he represents that 47 life, you know, pro era, pro era crew, you know what I'm saying. And yeah, it's a slap that we got, it's kind of like a little underground cult classic, you know what I mean? Yeah. But throw that joint on, man, slap that. If you would like to. Hey, let's go. Here we yeah, go. Let's get into it. Oaks Rider. Check it out right here on 90.5 FM.
circuits are kind of a promotional tour, you know what I mean, get folks used to, you know, seeing some dope performances, somewhat like a showcase, a solidarity record showcase, and we sent some folks coming together, you know, with a dope performance, so, 
And we're about to hit San Diego, Bellini, so we got a show in San Francisco on Wednesday at Neck of the Woods. Hopefully mm -hmm. folks will think of that, you know, if they can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's, let's talk about, a little bit about some of the um, some of the ups and downs, the peaks and valleys of being an independent artist from the Bay, San Francisco, specific. With with the content that you have, like this, like a little bit more meaningful than than, right. you know, than what is pushed. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you definitely got a. It's more of a long, a long play when you do the the kind of music we make, music that we love, right? And it's music that we know needs to be made, but it's not like fast pace. Uh, I mean, literally, it is fast pace, like sonically, but like it's not like exuberant trajectory necessarily from the work you put into it you got to kind of love the work you put into it more than you love what you expect from it you know what i'm saying right so, like the know, tortoise and bugs. the hare kind of thing you know what i'm saying it's like you know um it's not it's not the uh the quick fix it's the more the longevity route you know what i mean and it's slow and steady you know what i mean but it's um but at the end of the day it's if we could look back on our on our discographies and be like, okay, we could stand on these on these values. We yeah. could stand on these on this music too, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Also, it's like um, you uh, you're more in control of your legacy too. I think when you spend the time to learn what's really happening, what you're participating in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. Other, like a lot of uh, you know I'm around other stories where they do really well really quickly and then they live a totally different life than what I'm living now you know what I mean sometimes good but sometimes like I actually know more than they do they just like went up like seven years ago and now they have to exist from doing that as opposed to like Oh, I went up today. Oh, I'm going to go up again tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to go, you know, it's just like, I know how to take it there. Yeah. So, avoiding being trendy and staying with the plan is better in the long run. I, I mean, uh, oh, not not avoiding it. you might not be, go ahead, Liam. Yeah, not avoiding it necessarily, but not going out of your way to try to catch on to a trend. Just, you know, we're authentic yeah. to what we like. Some of what we like is trendy. You right. Know, some of it is underground hip-hop, hip-hop, some of it is cult following type music. You know, in Lennon's terms, we got slaps, and we also make boom bap, like, introspective records, you know? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I was, I challenged one of my young rap homies to uh, write a verse, like, because it's gotten so popular to go in there, punch in, yeah. and, and try to do the Jay-Z, Lil Wayne future thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I challenged him to Hey, right, it works, bro. Yeah. Put yeah. some of your soul in there. And, yeah. You know, like, take yeah, your time. You take your time to show patience. It takes patience. You know what I mean? Like, for creation. But yeah, I think it's like making it a lifestyle. It's right. like your lifestyle, in a sense. And when it's your lifestyle, you're not really concerned about, you know, benefits or whatnot. Yeah. Like, if you're doing it because you love it. Like, Mabel said, like, you're not worried about necessarily the expectations. You're more worried about the journey in a sense like mm -hmm. this is you know you're, you're getting priceless you know experiences and, and priceless information and energy shared with some of the you know dopest OGs in the game and, and so it's like some of those things like Gabe was talking about when some folks might make that leap you miss those you know those moments in between that are kind of like make everything make sense in a sense it gives yeah. it more purpose to your journey to your life you know, like, yeah. and when I say journey, that's what I mean, your life, you know, like, so, you know, if you make it your lifestyle, I believe is, it, it comes, it becomes genuine, and, you know, you make music because you love it, not because, you know, you're trying to hustle to get somewhere, you know, like, yeah. it, it, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of, you know, give and take sometimes, especially dealing with the business, because it is a business at the end of the day, but you still want to have fun and be creative, you know, like. I can relate to that uh, 
as a creative person, I use my camera sometimes, mm -hmm. and it's like, man, I want to go shoot this, but I gotta pay that, mm -hmm. so let me go <laughs> give my time to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Right. And yeah. then I'll be all tired, and then it's like, how bad do you want it? If right. you still, if you still do something, oh, I'll just press the button. If you still do something after you have made your necessary sacrifices, mm -hmm. right? Right. Uh, yeah. How bad do you want it? Like you say, exactly. It's, it's a sacrifice, you know. And it, and like that word sacrifice, I've been learning more. It's not if it's what you want. If it's your, you know, if it's your passion, it's not a sacrifice, right? It's not right. sacrifice is giving up something in order to pursue something, right? right? But if it's your lifestyle, it's not a sacrifice, right? It's just something that you do. It's part of your life. So it's like everybody kind of like you know, kind of exaggerates that. Oh, I gotta do this in order for that. It's like not really, you know, like we switching up the priorities sometimes in your yeah. life and following your passion and sacrificing some things like, okay, maybe I don't, you know, I don't want this, you know, two houses. I can deal with this one property that I have and I can, you know, deal with, you know, instead of having so much access, the excess stuff, you know what I mean? It's a simple life in a sense and that's how you can survive, and like you said, an independent artist or an independent label in a sense of not trying to go after what everything is pushed you know, where everything is kind of like what they're trying to get you to go for, you know. Yeah. I mean, also, uh, I've heard from a couple of barbers before that, you know, it's only so many vacations, right. so many extra rooms, <laughs> so many marble countertops yeah. that you mm. want yeah. before it's like, oh man, all these people are around just using me for that. Yeah. But yep. here's this guy chilling, watching football lines. Right. Metro fall. Yeah, with like, his family. With his folks. Yeah. Like, <laughs> having hella fun. Yeah. Um, exactly. Let's see. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about a couple more songs. I, I do want to ask you about some uh, social justice standpoints, though, but I personally haven't, like, I want to be more educated. I want the people that are listening right. to hear some real stuff. Yeah. Well, let's let's <clears throat> well, let's talk on Palestine and speak on it just a, a, a brief moment or whatnot. And I appreciate you letting us get it on the airways because there's a lot of uh, you know algorithms and blocks and, and Zion, Zionistic behavior and those type of things block the mainstream, block the airways, and doesn't let the message come through sometimes. So we speak in the Palestine and the mainstream media how they talk about how you know Israel is under attack and all this. This is an occupation that's been going on for over 75 years in Palestine. And this is through an ide you know, ideology, a political ideology, a racist one that was, you know, conceived in Britain, you know, of taking over the Palestinian lands, which is a, you know, in their the Zionist ideology and whatnot, what they're talking about is how they took it over, as they're saying, we're going for a land that doesn't have people, you see. So they never considered Palestinians even to be people. And this is something that we have to consider if you really listen and do your research on timelines and what's been happening and how, how Israeli education is pushed to hate Palestinians, to kill Palestinians. And you can see footage of it. I've been, I was in Palestine 2019, you know, um, blessed to be a part of the delegation that was out there full of dope artists that were all getting educated on what was happening and what's going on. So when people get outraged about something that happened by quote unquote Hamas and they they, they bomb this and yes, it's horrible. It's horrible to have people that are innocent people lose their lives. But this is something that's not just going on last week or two weeks. This is seventy five years. And it's not just Gaza. It's all throughout Palestine and Jerusalem and the Haitia and Janine and all these camps where people get harassed, bullied, tortured, kidnapped and murdered. You know, this is a daily basis. It's not a thing. You know, so it's a lot of alligator tears that I see going on and miseducation and people that want to have a selective struggle where like, oh, I could, then that, that's not solidarity. You see what I'm talking about when we talk about that word? That's not solidarity. That's a selective, selfish struggle where it's like, oh, well, my people did this. My people went through this. My people, you know, it, it's deep. It's a deep thing. It's deep, but it's not complex, you see? And that's what try to, people try to, you know, misguide you and tell you, oh, it's a complex situation, it's complicated, it's a war, it's a conflict. No, it's an onslaught of people getting brutally murdered, brutally murdered, getting thrown in jail, political prisoners, children, 
mothers, you know, and this is a, it, it's, it's, it, it touches my heart, you know, it, it, it really does because I, I had a chance to deal with a lot of Palestinian folks when I was out there and I have a lot of Palestinian comrades in the Bay Area. And to understand what's going on and the naiveness and, you know, by other people, the ignorance, the cowardice, you know, by people that are sympathetic towards Zionists and sympathetic towards situations that are going on about <clears throat> how, you know, how people are, you know, are being treated unfair. No one deserves to die, you know, children on both sides or whatnot. But you can't, you know, I've seen the cartoon, you can't run up to a beehive and keep poking it and poking it and poking it and then run around and run away when you get stung and start telling them, oh, look what they did, look what this happened. That's what's going on. You guys are, you know what I mean? You guys are just, you know, totally taking, you can see it, you see it out there. And that's the problem with we don't understand in the United States, as far as the United States gives them billions of dollars annually, yearly. There would be no Israeli state without United States funding. That's something we have to understand, because we don't understand the, the significance and the power of a boycott, or using our voice, or using our platform to expose the corruptness. That's what it's going to take. We're just too comfortable. There's too too many luxuries in the United States for us to really understand the connection of how many United States military bases are across the land in Latin America, you know, period, in Africa. You know, like all this is going on because the resources are getting take, take, you know, taken from the black and brown soil, you know, and that's the same thing with Palestine as far as the olive trees, the oil, the richest of the land, you know, they're, they're displacing them. There's gentrification on the whole extreme, you know, level. So it's very important that we, we do this. It's something that I do daily. It's in my lifestyle, like we talked about. It, it's my lifestyle. I, I wear I just sweatshirt I wear every day if I have to or whatever. But it's something when it occurs and people start getting aware of it, it's our chance for education. It's not just a revolution. It's a chance for education. It's going to take education to get to that revolution. So all this tragedy and turmoil that's happening, we have to turn into moments where we can educate folks and hopefully they can understand what our dollars are doing, what's going on. You see folks and, and, and start depicting people as evil and stop all that, you know, like, and, and crazy, you know, like when you see people blowing themselves up or whatever that, what, whatever is going on and you don't really understand what's going on. You don't understand that pain. You don't understand that struggle to blow yourself up or put yourself on fire for your people or your community. So why even speak on it? You understand? That's and so people are blowing. You know why they're blowing themselves up? Because they are telling us, "Help us! Help me!" You see what I'm going through? I will blow myself up in order you understand what your dollars are doing. We need help out here. That's why they're doing it. It's not because they're crazy. They might be desperate because their land's been occupied over 75 years. That means your grandparents have felt it. Your parents have felt it. It's still current. You know, so these are children, these are people that are experiencing this every day, you know what I mean? No water, no food, no electricity, hospitals getting blown up. This is your lifestyle, you see what I mean? This is their lifestyle. And until we know that struggle, which we don't, we don't understand that struggle in America. Ain't no building been bombed like that. All that 9-11 thing was a hoax, was a hoax, you know what I mean? Like, we know what's going on. This is, and it's the same thing that's going on all over. These governments are playing with money and playing with people's lives and playing with the working class, playing with the poor. It's all about, yeah, it's all about the dollars. You know what I mean? Kind of, create, My bad. Kind of creates a little bit of division, but what y'all do, music, it brings people together. Um, I mean, whether you're educating, partying, slapping, boom, that, and like, there is an audience that, like, right outside next to this uh, library, bunch of break dancers like at the night time between like 6 and 10 p.m. Yeah. People might catch them out there breaking. I was walking with one of my friends who doesn't like that yeah. style of music. You know, it's like, man, tell them to change that. And I'm like, bro, you not see 30 people over there dancing? Like, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> it's like, a, that was fun. yeah, it's a whole group over there. They might not be listening to what we're listening to right now, but we can't discount what they got going on. Right, they got right. something different. It brings people together. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm trying to tie this off, man. Because it's a bunch of stuff that can divide us. But yeah, we no, got you these slaps. The 
let's let's jump into some more music. I really wanted to play Idle Time because that's been uh, one of the songs that I've slapped uh, over With the Ray Ray. Ray. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. let's play. Let's let's rap with some solidarity tracks. Hey, what if we play Butterflies? Butterflies. Let's, yeah, let's talk about butterflies right now. Um, what, what went into uh, you know this track? Yeah, so butterflies is a track, sort of a dedication to, to artists and musicians who have passed away. Um, a good friend of mine, Byron Mayhew, saying a dope ass work on it. Sorry, a dope hook on it, and then uh, wanted to get equipped on it because I uh, felt the song was special and that his uh, his powerful voice could could get the message across of what I wanted the song to be about. So I told him the concept, wrote some verses for it, and he still came with it. Uh, that's the pilot track to my project, which is, you know, it carries the same theme throughout the project, the sample and voices of different artists who I, who I love and admire from the past. Uh, I need to take it out. All right, this is the world premiere on, on the Style Drop and Roller Show. Yes, sir. Right here at KSJS. Man, appreciate this. This one is titled Butterfly. Shout out to Solidarity Records. Hey, hey. Um, we got. Sure, we here. Yeah. Uh, they have a showcase coming up on Friday, October 27th. Man. Oh, that's Halloween weekend. Can't wait. Halloween. Hey, do we want to invite people to dress up or are we just leaving that, you know? What hey. it is. Yeah, I'm from San Francisco. We have people dress up on a daily, you know? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. What it is. You dress up, dress down. Put it show on. up, show Just out. Let me get a favorite throwback equipped though. Yeah. Uh, outfits. Let's go. <laughs> straight from, yeah. straight from the hype here. Tall tees. Yeah. I'm Tall working on my costume. Fuzzy Kangos. Man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but let us know where the band camp is, uh, the IG, the whatever, the website. The right on. Game. Myself. Um, I actually, I got a website in the works with Pupco and, and Solidarity. We're working on that, but for now, to support the music, uh, Solidarity Records, Forward Vibe, Bandcamp. You search there, you see a lot of music there. Uh, as far as my social media, let's just keep it IG, Equipto underscore Forward Vibe. Yeah, and you can get me at Professor Gable. P-R-O-F-E-S-S-A-G-A-B-E-L, all internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can catch all me at Monk HTS on, you know, all the streaming joints, Monk underscore HTS at Insta Instagram, 
You can also um, catch me on the Twitter or X or whatever you call it <laughs> nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like HTS. Yes, sir. It's McStravick. That's M C S T R A V I C K four one five. Catch that on all all uh, all, all social caps. media. All yeah, all caps. All caps. Yes. All caps, all caps too. from the state of Man. Yeah, and you can find me, MC Pods, M C P A U Z E on all socials, Instagram, Spotify, just all of that stuff. Shout out brother J Deuce on the road with us. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out uh, Rich Ayala, shout out by Vandals, DJ Zebra, my brother Mandela the fella that's on the media, yeah. that's a good brother of ours. Tony Everclear uh, on the keys. Shout out Everclear on the keys, could it make me big addition to the tour and, and uh, you know, bringing great energy. I want to say rest in peace to our brother Freaky Fred, I want to say justice for yeah. Zumbi, you know, mm -hmm. a big part of, uh, you know, our energy. Yeah. Uh, Still, you know, searching for justice. So, shout out Zion mm -hmm. Knives and we all those. You know, I mean, do some special stuff, brother. Hey, yeah, do say. Shout out Ray Red. Shout out Doc's Black. Uh, uh, shout out Doc's Black. Yeah. 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 Right, Ray Red is my brother. I shout out Carl. Yeah. That's where I'm uh, up in this room. Yeah. 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 Big shout out. Hey, shout out to the Loft because that's where we're going to be on Friday. Be uh, here. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, y'all. Oh, okay. Be there. Be square. Okay, we can say that. You are, <laughs> you are cordially yeah. invited. Yeah, you're cordially <laughs> invited. It's <laughs> <laughs> on Friday. We will be there. We're having a good time, man. Come through. Yes. You don't want to meet us there. You got to meet us there, right? There you go. I got that from Sue. <laughs> <laughs> I took that. But uh, thank you guys for sliding through. Hey, thank Slide you. Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you, bro. You, thank you, Keith. Yeah. Oh man, I'm a bar here. Oh, the bar here. Thank you, bar. Oh yeah, Thank but you, uh, the people listening actually know it. Yeah, right on, right on. But big shout out. Um, we gonna keep it solid in solidarity. We gonna keep it We gonna keep it rolling. And since it's the top of the hour, it's ninety point five FM KSJS. Big shout out to everybody tuned in. Stay tuned in. We got Doctor Ghost, Mister Ghost, with the jazz format next. And let me go over a little bit. And um, I'll see y'all next week. No, no, actually, I'll see y'all on Friday. I'll see you on Friday. See you Friday. Doors open at 8 p.m. It's going to be something. Don't want to miss it. Keep it live right here on KSJS. Peace. Peace. Hey. Peace. Hey. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you, nah, thank you. This old time radio program was originally aired live long before the advent of High Fidelity. Uh, all right, so that's a wrap. We had Solidarity Records slide through. Big shout out to uh, Rich Ayala and um, Everclear and Vibe Vandals. Not present, but uh, they here in spirit. Let's get it.